morning everybody today Bruce and I are gonna be doing the what's all video well I'm gonna be doing the what's all video Bruce is probably just gonna be talking Boom. these are just a few of the sales from this weekend to show you what it is that I buy where I buy it how long it takes to to sell and all that kind of good stuff so let's get to it bro do you have me sitting on the speaker what the hell man you couldn't scream for a chair what sold let me see. I'm looking at the phone. Okay, what's sold? Some female Climax lubricant. Yeah, baby. I gotta say, my girls don't need any of that. <laughs> I bet they don't, Bruce. I bet they don't. Okay, these are called drink markers. Girls, well, the guys and the girls. These drink markers, you put them on, on top of the, the edge of a, of a drink and they just look cool. I got them at Kohl's. I got these drink markers. For $2.50 for both of these, I sold them for $13.59, $4.99 shipping. And it only took six weeks. Here we got this vintage scarf. Look, where is it? There we go. It's a Viking scarf, obviously by the color, right? But they didn't, it didn't have an official NFL logo. It didn't have anything official. So I'm assuming somebody bought this, they stitched it on, and then they, you know, that's that's what they made. So I was ma I made sure that my description said that. So that they don't think that I'm trying to sell fake because I don't do that. So this scarf sold for $14, $3.99 shipping and it only took three months because it was hot. So, you know, it just got cold so it sold already. These are 4XL. Look at this. These are 4XL tall overalls and they are Canadian. Uh, they're made in Canada so they're very popular. They are FR or fire retardant and I sold them for $30. I took an offer for $30, $9.99 shipping and I only paid $1 for these and it sold in 15 days. And I paid $1 in one of the videos or one of my shorts where I talk about my local uh, hospice thrift. It's my favorite thrift store. They, they had everything. They had adult clothing for a dollar and I said, hey, let's get them. Sold pretty quick. I mean, 4XL tall. Damn! That a big boy! Next, Diamond Strike Fire. These are... Here, I'm going to show you the picture right there. It's a stick right there. So you just strike it and you throw it into your fire. And it gets your fire started. I got these. Uh, I bought these for $7 each. And I sold them for $38.39 with free shipping. I'm not making a lot of money on these because this is a repeat buyer. So I took an offer and he bought them again. But I've, I've been selling these year round and I only th I think I only have two left. Insane. I love these things. Woo! Bam! Three of these. I'm going to show you one. Monopoly National Parks game. So the Monopoly games are very, very highly collectible. So whenever you see them at a good price, pick them up. They are harder to ship than most people want because, you know, they, it takes a long box. But still, you can make uh, good money on these. I picked these up at Kohl's for, by the way, I have my prices right right next to the camera. So if I look that way, I'm not trying to be a douche. It's just the way it is. But you are a douche, Damien. What the fuck, man? Always just talking. Shit. So the I, I paid $7 for these. I sold it for $32.39 free shipping. I've been selling these for six months. I purchased, I don't remember, probably 10 or 12 units, maybe more. Just roughly about two months. It's pretty good last three and these are probably going because it's gonna be Christmas time and people want new stuff to give away you know everybody's looking for gifts now BAM suckers look at this somebody I went to auction and I purchased a box lot so I paid essentially a dollar for this I'm gonna say a dollar I it, if I paid less than that I just always say a dollar just because it's easier for my calculations but uh, I paid probably 10 cents for these because it comes with a bunch of other stuff that I already sold. Most people that saw it, they're like, what is that? It, it looks nasty because it was dirty. It, it just looked real ugly. And I said, you know what? No, that's MCM style. I know that that's a thing and it's going to sell. I didn't know this symbol, but this bottle sold for $28, $14.99 shipping and it only took six days. These are highly collectible and they're, if they're in better condition, you can get upwards of about 140 to 150 depending on which one it is, depending if you have the cork 
and a lot of other things but in this condition $28 from $1 with $15 shipping you can, I'll take it every day hey man what's MCM for those that don't know this guy he does this with me all the time and he doesn't remember MCM stands for mid-century modern or items that were from post World War II up to about late 50s that is considered mid-century modern Mid-century modern is super hot right now, so whenever you find it, pick it up. There is a very distinctive look. There's patterns, there's color. There's a lot of different things that helps you distinguish what MCM versus later or earlier is. So when you see it, pick it up. You can read about it online. There's a ton of information out there. So go ahead and do that. <laughs> Squirrels, man. <laughs> Damn. They run across the roof, and then they wake up the dogs, and because they, get, they hear... <laughs> If I could use my 22 long rifle inside, you know, here, which I can't because it's inside city limits and there's other houses and kids and stuff. But if I could, I they, they would all be dead. As cute as they are, they're a nuisance. Fucking <laughs> squirrels. Okay, next one. I am a writer myself, so this is a gorgeous jacket. I love this jacket. This is a victory jacket. I don't write victory, I write Yamaha. But I bought this at a pawn shop for 10 bucks. Sold it for 35, 12 dollars shipping and it only took three months this one took a little longer than normal because i don't know maybe the condition maybe it was the times uh, now you're gonna need a jacket more often because it's getting colder but i did take an offer for 35 bucks but hey from 10 to 35 with 12.99 shipping i'm good this is definitely a new one for me i had never seen this brand i had never known about this brand when i picked it up but I checked the comps because it, it just looked, it looked different, it looked cool. This is called Marine Layer. And this is a large, extra large. I don't know why they do that, but I guess they, they make less sizes. That way, you know, they can bring you cheaper merchandise. It's got a, that is the logo right there. So you guys can see it. Basic shirt. Some of these can go, even, even pre-owned can go up to 40 bucks. I didn't really know much about the brand. So I said, okay, let me just put it at a very, at just a, at bottom price to see how fast it sells as compared to everybody else. And I sold this sucker for $13.59, $5.99 shipping in one day. So I said, okay, now when I get Marine, this Marine layer shirts, I'm gonna put them for about 20 bucks or more depending on, on the shirt. And I know that they'll sell fast. I did check the comps, but sometimes they're all over the place because, you know, people are all over the place with their pricing. Check this one out. I love selling electronics, especially tiny ones like this. This is a Sony CyberShot 3.2 megapixel camera. Yes, these do sell. For those people that look at me like I'm crazy when I pick them up, they sell. I bought this for four bucks, sold it for $23.19, $5.99 shipping, and it took less than two months. Just this month alone, I think I've sold maybe 10 or 12 of these. Not the Sony one, but the, this type of camera. This is a cool one. Carhartt. I got a bunch of these at TJ Maxx for about 5 bucks. Wait, let's see. Yep, got it for 5 bucks. Sold it for $16.79 free shipping. Took 4 months. And this one took so long to sell because of the color. I mean, it's got to be a very special person to wear this color. Okay, this one I'm not going to open because it's a lot and I'm just not going to do that. I already put them up here. But this is a lot of seven fishing reels that I got in a box lot at auction. They were all trashed. I didn't even take too long to, to clean them because the time that it took me or the time that it would take me to get all these done, put them all separate and sell them individually. I was like, you know what? It's too much work. So I just put them all together with a semi clean and I put their hey, You're going to have to clean them. But I just said that they do move, you know, when you when you reel them. The reel moves up and down and basically that's as much as testing as as they got. So I sold this. This is a lot of seven. I sold these for $26.39, $14.99 shipping, and I only paid five bucks for the box lot. Mind you, it came with this and a bunch of other stuff that I already sold. So technically these cost me I don't know, pennies. Uh, maybe not pennies, like well, pennies, about 30 cents, 40 cents each. You gotta love auctions. Cheers everybody, thank you for hanging out this morning. If you haven't done so already, give this video a like, hit the subscribe button, click the bell, do all that kind of stuff because it really does help the channel. And I would love your opinions on what it is that I buy. Would you buy this kind of stuff? Do you not buy this kind of stuff? Do you think it's stupid? Do you think I, you know, that it doesn't make money? Is it not for you? Are you in a different category? Just put it down in the comments below. This is one of my favorite sales for this week and I didn't even make that much money on it. Bam!
Married with children. For those of you that are 80s, 90s babies, you know that we were, I was a, I was a kid when I was in, in the 90s. I was born in 82. I'm 41 years old. So I remember this. This was hilarious. I saw all the seasons. I still watch them to this day. I have it now digitally, but I watch them to this day. And this is, I just love this show. Super awesome show. But with the climate nowadays, you can't, a show like this wouldn't fly, which is stupid. <laughs> But whatever, that's a conversation for another day. This sold for $7.99 free shipping and I only paid $1 and it took six months to sell. This is a vintage Briarwood Wellington pipe. These pipes are handcrafted. They, they take long to do this. Briarwood lasts a long time. The piece you can replace, but this piece is just a beautiful pipe. I think I underpriced it because I just wanted to go fast. I, uh, I do move some tobacco pipes, but not too much. So I'm not super well read on these, but I sold this sucker for $21.99, $6.99 shipping. I paid only a dollar with a box lot. And mind you, I paid less than that. But again, because I just say a dollar, it's just easier for, you know, for my accounting. But this sold in four hours, fast. Tobacco pipes, wait, not all tobacco pipes. Good tobacco pipes. Oh, this is heavy. These are vintage door mechanisms. Old school door, old school door. These are locks, bolt throughs. This is regular, this isn't vintage, but most of it is vintage. And I was ma I made sure that I told them that. Look at this one. There's a bunch in here. I'm not gonna touch all of them because they're they're really dirty. And I don't wanna put this stuff on the, new, on the product that I'm gonna touch next. But anyways, for those of you that watch my other videos, this, lot was part of my part of my death pile that i had in the garage i made a video specifically about death piles and how not to throw them away and i love it when when the proof is in the pudding this sold for 25 dollars 14.99 shipping and it took five weeks actually just around the time uh, that i made the video i put it up i got a bunch of questions and i finally took an offer for 25 bucks 14.99 shipping this is going international so this it, which makes sense because there's like when I go to Mexico, there's still a lot of doors that look like this here. Not so much anymore. Almost everything's upgraded, but there you go. Don't throw away your death pile. Now it's called a death pile for a reason and you can't keep everything. And sometimes you got to just let it go. But stuff like that, if you put it together in a lot and make some money uh, on it, it doesn't take you forever to ship it. Then you're good to go. This is Oakley. Oakley sells all the time as most, people know because it is a huge brand this is the baggie the microfiber bag microfiber bags alone sell for about six to eight bucks and if you put them in a lot you can sell a bunch of them for the same shipping price essentially for three dollars and eighty cents ship a bunch of them but in this case i sold the riddle this is an old pair it's broken it's not even new i mean it's not it doesn't even work and it can't be fixed if they think that they're going to be able to fix them, you can't fix them. And I made sure that I that I said that because I am a professional in eyewear. I was in the eyewear industry for a very long time. And I can tell you what's good and what's bad. Sometimes it can be bent back into place. It can You can do a lot of different things, but sometimes you're just not able to fix it. This is one of those times. I believe what they're doing is they're going to take the lens out because the lens is in damn good condition. So I could easily have taken out the lens and sell the lens by itself and probably made a little more money. But I honestly didn't have a lot of time. Um, when I was listening, I was just going, going, going. And I, now that I think about it, if I took it off and sold the lens, it would have been better. But because it's broken, you know, they, they get to pitch lower, lower amounts, which is fine too. They got a deal. I made money. I don't care. I, this was actually, this was, uh, when I was cleaning out my closet, I found these. They're, they're just an old pair that was in my house. I sold these for $10, $4.99 shipping. And it, so, it took about four months to sell. Again, if you have broken things and you can sell the lenses, take the lenses out. I know, you know, I, I need to take my own advice, but take the lenses out and sell them on their own because now you don't have to say that they're damaged. You don't have to say that they're broken. So it's more likely that you're going to get more views on your item because there's nothing wrong with it. It's not broken. There's no defects or maybe scratches or whatever, but people understand scratches, but they don't like the word broken. Vintage advertisement boxes. This is Anglo corned beef. Industria Argentina. This is from Argentina. It's, let's see what it says here. 
Industria Argentina, Ministro de Agricultura y Ganadería. Uh, inspeccionado número 44, Industria Argentina. Dos docenas. So it's two dozens. This is pretty awesome. I actually wanted this for myself to put it in my office where I shoot my other videos, but uh, just move it. You know, I say that about a lot of things and if we if we always did that, we never we would never make any money. And this sold for $21.24, $14.99 shipping, and it took three months. Oh, this is a hilarious one because I made a short about buying appliances like this and there was so many people talking. Book. Book. Damn, what the hell do they know? You're making money, right? You know, you're paying for all my clothes, my nice converse, all this. Book. Okay, well, I don't know about all that. You know, he's kind of angry all the time, but yeah, you know what? Those people don't know what they're talking about. As a six-figure seller, I can tell you that I've tried all types of things. I've tried all types of items and items like these sell fast because there's a lot less competition. And I say that in my short. A lot less competition because nobody wants to ship these. It's too hard. I just want to do clothes. I just want to do shirts. It's only four ounces. It takes me like two minutes. Fine. If you want to buy only clothing and be competing with like 100,000 other people, or you want to buy these and compete with 100 people, come on, man. This is why I, this is where I make money where other people don't or when when their sales dip because all they do is vintage clothing vintage clothing and whatever this is what i do mind you no offense to anybody so whoever gets offended you know what Book. man just leave it in the comments below tell me whatever you want i'm not talking smack about clothes because obviously i sell clothing as you can see but i don't sell i don't only sell that it's just it's not my thing i don't like doing it as much so wanted to say that because i'm just explaining that stuff like this gives you an edge. This is the Cuisinart big Book. toaster. It holds four. It can even do bagels. It can do it, it can do a bunch of different things. And there's a, a defrost button, reheat button. This is digitally awesome. I love this toaster. I didn't get to use it for myself, but this is a great toaster. And I paid $7.50 for it. Sold for $47.99, $14.99 shipping, and it only took 10 days great profit and it doesn't even take that long to ship for those of you that are wondering and last but not least my own private label product i'm gonna put these on so you guys can see them on i can't see the video by the way because they're they block out the sun so why would the hell would i be able to see this right but look at that Woo! so i've been saying this for a long time you can lose thousands or you can make thousands in private label products I hear resellers all the time. I sold, uh, I lost all this kind of money, so I don't recommend you doing private label. Private label doesn't work. Private label this, private label that. You know what? That is all bull****. If you really want to leave a mark on this world, reselling other people's stuff isn't going to do that. You need to make your own things and put your own brand on your own items. This design is gorgeous. Nobody has designs like this. My brother designed this specifically for this item. It is beautiful. It is super fun for kids. I'm going to show you. It starts with the dinosaurs. Look at that. It's basically like a timeline. And then it goes to the middle. Cavemen. There's other stuff like uh, when we when we find out about fire. About the wheel. You mentioned the wheel. And then it goes to here. Look at that. All the tech. And then at the end. Basically, we're leaving this earth to go somewhere else. I love talking about these because, again, a lot of people talk Book. about private label. You know what, man? I think they talk Book. about private label because they don't know what the hell they're talking about again. You tell them, bro. I do tell them. This was the last lot that I sold. I sold this whole thing. I sold 800 units for $870.33, which, mind you, it is a very cheap price. Because these can go upwards of 5 to $10 per glass when it's closer to time for an eclipse. I have a, a discount for wholesalers or people that want to buy in bulk. And I said, fine, you get 20% off of whatever prices I have. For a 100-pack, it was 135 So they got 20% off for buying eight 100-packs. They were super happy, and these are going to Dallas, Texas. And as a side note, if you are anywhere in the line of sight for the eclipse for 2024 and you want Eclipse glasses and you like this design that, that is my design, you can buy these for me pre-ordered. Just comment below, I want Eclipse glasses and I will get with you so that we can get this done. 
I'm taking pre-orders from right now till about, let's call it end of December. We'll get together. I'll give you the pricing. You send me the money. We're gonna, I'm going to get all the bulk orders done. And then once they come in, I ship everybody else's out and you can have them. You can make a bunch more money. Trust me on these. And I'm not going to make a ton of money on you. But you can do this for somebody else. Because I do a lot of wholesale. So I want to do this for you. So if you guys are interested, let me know. If not, you can always find my description. My description has all of my contact details. You can contact my Proton Mail. You can contact me through, again, through the comment, through Instagram. Whatever is on there, you can contact me through there. So we can get this done. I love these things. And one last thing. In 2024, it is going to be the last North American eclipse for about, I think, 2040 is the next one. Here, hold on. 2024, uh, April 8, 2024 is going to mark the last eclipse from North America or in North America until August 23rd, 2044. So this is going to be a big deal. I can tell you that, uh, that there are people from all over the world driving in to Texas, especially Fredericksburg, Texas. Beautiful city. The line crosses right through there. That's where I'm going to be going live on YouTube. It's going to be amazing. There's already people that are renting all the spaces there. They're renting all the hotels, all the Airbnbs. And mind you, the Airbnbs there went from $300 a night to something like $1,300 a night. It's insane. But I get it. Whatever, hey. Capitalism, right? To each their own. You make your money. If somebody wants to give you their money for, you know, outrageous prices, fine. If somebody else deems it worth it, make your money, boss. Hey, man, I really like this what sold video. Should make more of these. Really, bro? Should I? This guy's always trying to tell me what to do. Thank you very much, everybody, for hanging out. If you have any questions or if you want the Eclipse glasses, leave them down in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, do all that kind of stuff because it really does help the channel. Have the best day.